OpenAI recently introduced plugins for ChatGPT. How you use them? Do you see any opportunity there? Like, what's what's up with that? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, plugins in ChatGPT is the way OpenAI are allowing companies and developers to contribute to the product. Mm. So it's a very very important bit of the ecosystem, and I, I think plugins um, will you know explode in mm. the future. There will be many 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 plugins which are used all the time and they will be very very useful so um in this regard there will be a marketplace there is already a marketplace for plugins but if you want to do something with ChatGPT, if you want to develop stuff uh, it might be a better option for you to develop a plugin for ChatGPT mm -hmm. rather than a standalone product which is um like not related to uh, ChatGPT or OpenAI or is wrapping the API and so on. So, yeah, in this regard, like I'm urging the community, please build for ChatGPT. It's going to be better for everybody. And for the users, mm. plugins are great, but some of them, some of them are oh. not good. <laughs> okay, so what's, what's a sp uh, use case for a plugin? Do they have... Uh, they build on top of ChatGPT to do to allow you to do specific targeted tasks. Is that it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So they usually tap into other uh, other people's you know software or databases. For instance, Expedia has a very good plugin for ChatGPT. Well, you're using the GPT model to present. Uh, the GPT models to present the information from Expedia. You mm. know, Expedia has all the flights and all the uh, holidays and the hotels and everything, but they're in this, you know, retro form mm -hmm. on their website. Mm -hmm. ChatGPT plus the Expedia plugin can plan your trip mm. by using Expedia data and Expedia. It uses yeah. it live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's not pre trained. Plugins enable ChatGPT to tap into live current data as well one as of well. the use cases is this yeah you can use Expedia for this you can use Zapier mm. for automating stuff and so on and so forth so you can think about it as you know a chat interface to you know other apps and um, so on you know the code interpreter um, that uh, the thing that came out recently it's also one of these you know you're using ChatGPT but with something on mm, top of it, yeah. right? Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, okay. So, it has the potential to be really powerful. Yeah. Okay. Yeah.